Hello there. Um, welcome back to the series on a writer's journal workbook. I'm the author, I'm Lucy Van Smit. And this week we're going to talk about um, how you structure a story. And this is one of the very first structures I learned. It's so simple. And it's again this principle of the book. It's just a little know-how takes you far. So this um, story structure is called COG. So it's think of it as a character, an obstacle, and a goal. And it is honestly the simplest way to structure a story. So you're going to brainstorm first on um, your character. And it's it, it, characters are everywhere. If you just look up, look around you, what do you see? You see people. And you can slightly mash them up to make your character. Once you have a sort of character, sort of person, um, say you, know, you have a character like Darth Vader, and you think of what their goal is, and then you can put the obstacles in front of them. And it's a very, very simple way to structure stories. You think of your character, you think of what they would like to have. Um, maybe they want to be king. What would be the obstacles in the way to stop them being king? And obstacles come on three levels. So you have the obvious one is an antagonist, so the bad guy. Um, there's the inner obstacle, which is our doubts and all our flaws. And then the other obstacle could be world conditions. It could be the weather, it could be politics. Um, it's everything sort of out there. And often it's a combination of all three of them. And um, for character-driven stories, often it's our internal story um, that really kind of delivers the punch in a story. So when you're structuring a story, um, a couple of weeks back we did content and we got that from your life. So the content is very useful to think of as motion. Structure is form. It's um, you're using it, think you have to think, it's more cognitive. And character obstacle goal is the simplest way to go. So this week, set a timer for maybe 30 minutes and do this very lightly. Keep this whole beginner's mind being playful. Imagine that you're being a child, being asked, do you want to be an engine driver or um, a sailor it's, it's that simple. just pick pick a ca character it doesn't really matter it's just practicing how this whole dynamic works pick a character what would they want and brainstorm some obstacles in between them and we'll start to structure that out more later in the book but this is the simplest way to start and um, I'll see you next week bye bye